I'm Yashika Graham welcoming you to another episode of Up Close and Personal. Now I'm very thrilled to be welcoming you today because Diane Thomas and Stokey Love are fresh out of studio. Welcome. Welcome to Up Close and Personal. Thanks. Thank <laughs> now let me start with this. Stokey Love. That's a very that's a signature name, a, a household name at this point. Where did you get this name, Stokey Love? Okay, the love was given. It was sent from heaven above. <laughs> And I was blessed with the name Love, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. The Stokey, it comes from Stokely Carmichael, right? And they just dropped the airlines and Stokey. Mm -hmm. I used to work in the sugar industry and I used to defend the worker. Yeah. In other words, let me tell you straight. I wasn't management's best friend because when they tried to do things to the workers, I used to defend the workers, mm -hmm. right? And they, this guy, Stokely Carmichael, used to lead uh, 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 used to have the, the Ku Klux and the Black Panther. Stokely Carmichael was the leader, right? And he used to defend the black race. So, something like that. So, the, they just said, boy, boy, if we call this man Stokely, you can be like Stokely yeah. Carmichael, like drop the L. You know, Jamaicans, mm -hmm. we drop something mm -hmm. along the line. You have to make it so, always. that's how the Stokely comes about. Yeah, but the love is from heaven above. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that combination. Yeah, yeah. And that it's coming from a deeper place. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. All right, nice. So, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. <laughs> Diane, so where did you get the name the sidekick? Where's that coming from? Straight this is from it's him. from him. Everyone around Cool who has a has a nickname, mm -hmm. he's the source of the nickname. I see. Don't call that me makes, Nikki. Don't call me Nikki though. That makes a whole <laughs> lot of sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. So back back to you, Stokey. So you're known as a a fun loving person and all of that where did that come from were you always this way oh yes <laughs> from birth uh -huh. yeah i i believe in people mm -hmm. and i used to have a, a habit when i see anybody sad i would never leave them until i get a laugh out of them it was just a pleasure to do that and sometimes you see even with me and dad then come on with our sour face and <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Don't bother with it. Don't bother with it. Don't bother with it. Show that's beautiful. That's Princess Diana. Don't bother All right. So you are doing, you're more than supplying music. You're supplying, you know, a lifted spirit as yeah, well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's just a part of me. Right? I just can't. Yeah. You know, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, you certainly light up, light up the room. So early in the interview and I'm crying. Okay. Right. So, Diane. I'm interested to know what else you do. What is your other superpower? I work for the government of Jamaica. I'm actually at the National Family Planning Board where I am the director for communication and public relations. Mm -hmm. So that's my 9.30 to <laughs> 5.40 job. After the mellow morning. After mellow you morning. Move to that. And how so, important is that to you, the family planning board? It is because you're impacting the lives. Just as I'm impacting lives here on radio, mm -hmm. I get to impact lives in another way at the NFPB. Yeah, and that's such a central mm -hmm. um, agency. Uh, it's an essential agency. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can I say something about No, you one. cannot say a <laughs> word. She also sells bottles. <laughs> 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 Let, let, let's 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 say how it is you are you recycle i am heavily she, into recycling yes she sells so framing is so important <laughs> but she should have done it and made me see because i am like a old fridge i leak everything i see so tell us okay what. so if you're wondering what that is all about mm -hmm. please at home we recycle our bottles so we we have drinking water so instead of tossing the plastic bottles into the bin, right. we pack them all in a, in a huge garbage bag and we'll take them to the recycling plant mm -hmm. or the collection depot. Right. I noticed here at Cool, we have a lot of bottles as well. So instead of seeing our cleaners taking them and tossing them as well, I advise let's put them in a plastic bag and I will take them and add them to the collection that I have from home and carry them as well. And then I took it to the office as well and started an initiative there where we have a bin named Oscar, like Oscar the Grouch, with this little, <laughs> with this little face on it urging members of staff to recycle. Mm -hmm. So 
I have from three points, I'm carrying yeah. bottles to the recycling plant. Can I tell you the other day it was 45 pounds of plastic wow. we turned in? She has another professional. No, <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Oi. All right. All right. Go shut up. Okay. All right. Okay, Diane, how did you get into, into, into radio? That's very commendable, by the way, mm -hmm. like using that and, you know, connecting different places and putting all of that together. Important work. Um, uh, uh, radio, I can only say it was divine placement here at Cool because I, when I submitted my little audio tape, my audition, mm -hmm. I had no idea a radio station was opening. Ooh. It was just me having heard the flight information as I drove along because they were doing these it was just a recording and it turns out it wasn't even being done in Kingston, it was being done from Aerotel Mo Bay. So I would hear this, but among all the stations that you're twiddling as you, you drive along. And then I was about to go back to work. I was actually on vacation leave and I decided, you know what, I have to find another source of income mm -hmm. because one has to somehow fast track in terms of attaining assets and ensuring that in old age you're, you're, you're fine. So I just decided, will you stop it? So I, I decided, you know what? I am going to, I was actually seated on my bed looking across at my mirror. And I kid you not, in under five minutes, I would think, mm -hmm. of just to, that thought popping into my head, I have to find another source. Imprinted on my mind, aeronautical. What's that? No, I'm kidding you not. This is what happened. I got up, I went to the phone book, mm -hmm. and I saw Aeronautical Telecommunications Limited. I've never heard of the company before. And I decided to just call them and ask them. And said, Aeronautical, well, the only thing I can think of recently is that flight, flight information. Thing. So I, I asked the person who answered, well, they're the ones who have that flight information. And he said, yes. I was told to submit an audition tape. I linked up with a friend uh, who was at CPTC. And he told me, come on down. We did the, re the recording. I dropped off my little audition tape. Didn't expect to hear from them. And the next thing I knew, I got a call that I was to come to a, rec to a studio. Turns out it was Creative Sounds mm -hmm. on Mountain View Mountain. Avenue. I, I, as I said, I was on vacation leave. So I'd taken the time to do a CPR course. Now it was that evening that they were actually going to be using the dummy to do the compressions. I missed that class because I went to this session. That's a remarkable story, Dan. What, that was what, 20 years ago? Almost 20 years, because now we're in July, November 1 will mark 20 mm -hmm. years for the radio station, but we were actually here one month before we went on air, and that was just for us to get to know each other right. and for us to also be familiar with the equipment. Wow, yeah. divine indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right, uh, so Stokey, what do you enjoy about being a DJ? You know, I've been a DJ for many years. How long? I started when I was about 15. That's a long time. <laughs> a long time. A long time, time ago. Yeah, I have a, I had a system, I had a set by the name of Soul Ghetto. That was mm. way, way back from... I actually started in 68. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I, I used to play out. Yeah. So I'm into music for a long time, a long time, yeah. And um, cool, when cool came about, right, I, a friend of mine by the name of Robert Blake, he was the one who called me and said, listen, this radio station is, um, and he wanted me to be a part of it. And I said, no, sir. As a matter of fact, I tell you what I said to him at the time. I said, boy, I read your people too hype. I mean, they're not hype, you know, so I'm not, in, not interested. What? No, that's what I said, yeah. I said, I'm not hype, so I'm not interested. But he insisted at the time I had an office on Old Oak Road, and Robert would call me and say, boy, hey, come on. I used to play on 70s Club, though, when Razman was at um, Fame. Mm -hmm. I used to play on the 70s Club, so. And she said that, yes, she would like me to come and join the crew here, you know. You, we already talked about the bubbly personality and all of this. Um, we do know that life is multifaceted and that mm -hmm. sometimes the peak isn't always what is the case. So what do you do 
when to counter when you're having a bad day? How do you stay balanced? Well, a lady asked me once if I ever had a bad day. No matter what happened to me, no matter what I feel, when I come here and go in that way, you'll never know. Yeah, I don't, I don't stay down for long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I laugh even at myself. Yeah, I will look out in the mirror and say, "Boy, you ugly, the boy." I just laugh. No, I just saying that yeah. I am that person. And look here, there's never a day that I step through my gate, and you can say that things bad with him. You just never see that. Mm. Okay, Dad. So, mm -hmm. what do you enjoy most about being an announcer? One, some of the really interesting guests that I have. And I'm just going to give you probably three. Some of the guests that I've had the absolute pleasure of interviewing. Under normal circumstances, I would never have met these people. Mm -hmm. uh, two, I get a chance to enjoy a wide selection of music and the carrying's on in studio. Go with, <laughs> go with the love of music. And three, being able to open a microphone, impact many lives, simply with a statement mm -hmm. or being in a position to try and convince members of the public that a particular initiative is worth getting onto that train with the people. So, for example, like Jamaica Cancer Society with Relay for Life, we've done that many years. It has got to the point where I volunteer my services. I go out and I MC Relay for Life. I've done it more than one year. But knowing that you are making a difference right, yeah. or helping an organization to garner the funds or to get supporters on board, that magical microphone allows mm -hmm. you that. Purpose. I tell you. You say you like to interview people. Any day you interview me, that will be the last day you interview me. That will be the last day on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Okay. No, but I've met some interesting, really interesting people. Yeah. And I have tried to keep some historic, keep some photos of mm. many of these people that I've encountered that I wouldn't have had the chance. Yeah. I have tried to document those because I'm also into photography. Mm -hmm. So. I use this opportunity to get images of them because yeah. who knows, maybe one day I'll get an iconic photograph. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have ever taken mine? No, I still want my camera. I look here. She told me, I said to her, Diane, we have been friends for 20 years and we never had a problem. Not, you never even caught your eye at me. She told me she caught her eye, but me not see. <laughs> but I tell you, I can admit, no. Me is my teeth, but she not here. <laughs> All right, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Full Green. I came in here announcing your your outfit earlier. You know your your shades, coordination, your shades of green, oh. and you're known to be neatly dressed all the time. And green. What? <laughs> what, <laughs> what inspires your style, and how do you maintain the particular image that you have? I don't know because it's something when I when I take down clothes to put on. I don't think about it until I have it on. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I tell you, even this morning why I would normally be in, I wouldn't be in this, you know, green all the way. Mm -hmm. What is the first thing my hand catch me put on? So normally I would spend some time and, you know, and think about it. I didn't think this morning, I just grab it. Okay, okay. Where we do have to wrap things up, but you know, this is the space for music. So I want to wrap up by asking you about your favorite kinds of music. And we can start with you. Steady. Rock steady. Rock I'm a rock steady man. First? Yeah, I'm a rock steady man. Yeah. Are you a dancing man? Oh. <laughs> 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 it's like, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. That's all we need to know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about you, Diane? What's your I, I like soul music. And then smooth jazz, picking order. And then coming down to like 70s, 80s dance hall. Mm -hmm. And then reggae. Straight out reggae. Nice. Yeah. And where are you on the dancing? Mm -hmm. I do. He actually named a dance move. 
that yeah. I do in studio all what the you? time. Wait, yeah. so I, th I feel like we need to see this. What is the move? No, we're not going to say that right now. Okay, what's nah. the name of the move? No, that's us try the move. What's no. the move name? No, it's my gingy fly. Is that, yeah, we, everybody else do the butterfly. She do the gingy fly. Oh, Jesus, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, butterflies uh, flap oh, the wings nice. All these ideas are coming to my head because I know those, those creatures. <laughs> No, but she I, does it well. For me, I just have fun on the dance yeah. floor. But, but and I, I think not, that is what it. matters. She, she just don't know. She don't what she's doing, but she's just having fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm having fun. Yeah. That, that I think is There's no matters. coordination. It's called freestyle. Yeah. What? Yes. Sometimes she has a triple wire one foot. But you get up and you go at it again. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, geez, what a day it has been. I do want to thank you for talking to me today, sharing this energy. I know you just step out of studio and you just continue the energy. Um, wow, that's where we must leave it on this episode of Up Close and Personal. I'm Yashika Graham, and of course, I have been speaking with Diane Thomas and Stokey Love. You can continue listening to them. Diane is with you every morning inside Mellow Mornings from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. She is also inside Live Tuesday at 7 to 9 and what's this? Musical, Musical rap. rap. She can only Musical. spend one day with me. She can't last one. <laughs> Musical yeah. rapture. She's from 9 on to 1 on Saturdays. <laughs> right. And of course, Stokey Love, you can catch on Cruising Cool Mondays, 5 to 9 p.m. Cool tones, 5 to 9 p.m. inside Cool Tones on a Thursday, 9 to 1. And Just Cooling on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. What a pleasure it has been sharing this time with you. I'm Yashika Graham for Up Close and Personal. Catch you next time. Thank you. One love. Thank you so much. And the life not the day. <laughs> yeah.